Hi, what's up guys and once again, welcome. My name is Bobby and in this afternoon's video, I've got somewhat of a unboxing slash tutorial slash let's play. Uh, what I have here, uh, I have a PS2 game that arrived in the mail yesterday. Uh, this actually come from overseas, it come from Italy, matter of fact. Uh, I ordered two games from there. Uh, I don't know which, which one it is. Uh, one of the games was Heaven Trail uh, Hamster Ball. The other one was Hamster Heroes. Uh, if, you, if you're if you familiar with my Let's Play that I'm doing right now uh, on the Mythmakers Orbs of Doom, well, these games right here are exactly like that, guys. Uh, pretty much, I, I don't know if Mythmakers Orbs of Doom was a hack off these games or vice versa. I have no idea. But they're pretty much the same game. I just love the games to death. So I just had to have it. Uh, I couldn't find the ISO image on the computer to download, so I just went ahead and bought them. And this is my first time ever owning a PAL version game, guys. So uh, yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll, and since this is a PAL version game, uh, it will not work on my system here. So what I'm gonna have to do, guys, is go over to the computer. Uh, I'm going to have to create uh, an ISO image out of this game here, which uh, this, this is where the tutorial comes in at. And uh, what I'm going to have to do is uh, patch this to an NTSC and then use a USB utility program to uh, convert it over onto a hard, hard drive. And then uh, from there, I most likely will have to use a power defragmenter uh, to clean her up a little bit uh, to play it. So that, that's the plan anyway. So, uh, yeah, uh, and after that, I will, I will play a stage or two, and just, and that's the let's play part of it, uh, I'll play a stage or two. So, let's get started here. I got my old trusty scissors. We will find out which game this actually is. Oh, yeah, which one is it? Oh, boy, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ha! Hipster Heroes! We got Hipster Heroes, guys. Check it out. Hipster Heroes. Can you see that? Alright. So, yeah. This is the first one that I'm going to rip. And we're, we're, I'm going to uh, convert it over. Uh, so I can play it on my uh, PS2 here. And as you can see, too, guys, at the top. Uh, it does say PAL version at the top there under the PS logo see that so yeah what i'm gonna do though i know it's not gonna work on my system but i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the ps2 just to see what it does because i've never owned one before so yeah it's gonna be a experience here so uh all right guys so let's get started shall we uh the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go over to the ps2 here and just put it in just to see what it does all right okay so let's do that. Free big boot. Alright. Alright, so this is the moment of the truth, guys. We need to find out what a PAL version does on the NTSC console. Uh, so I'm going to take the Hepster Heroes disc out of its case. I get it out. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to stick it in the uh, console here, right now. Open the tray up. I'm going to close the tray and we'll see what happens. We know it's not going to work, but I, I just wonder what kind of screen is going to pop up. Oh, okay. Okay, got you. Please insert a PlayStation or PlayStation 2 format disc. Now, there are some games, guys, that I had uh, burned onto a DVD, didn't do it right. This will pop up, so I'm very familiar with this screen right here. Very familiar with it, so, uh, yeah. So, let's go going over to the computer, guys, see what we can do about this, all right? All right, guys, so now we're all ready and set to go. Uh, and, and tell you the truth, guys... Uh, it's nothing to taking an ISO image from a disk and converting it over onto a hard drive. 
there's really nothing to it at all whatsoever uh, the only problem I see with this disc here guys is that it is a purple or blue disc whatever you want to call it and in the past I had bought some uh, games from Best Buy and they were also the blue or purple disc uh, but they were NTSC of course uh, but I, I just wanted to copy them over uh, to the hard drive so I could play them off my hard drive. Well, guys, it didn't happen. Uh, I don't know what it is about these blue, purple discs, uh, but they just they just would never work for me. Uh, all my other ones worked just fine and everything, but just the purple and blue disc didn't. Uh, so hopefully this is a different story. Uh, so we're just going to jump right into this, guys, and see what happens. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a folder here and I'm going to rename it to Hamster Heroes. Uh, this is where all of our files are going to end up going in this folder here guys. And uh, the second step we're going to do is uh, we're going to insert a game into the C drive of our computer here. We'll wait till it loads up. Shouldn't take that long. Alright, so here we go. Uh, these are our files right here, guys, uh, on our disk. Uh, what you want to simply do is just highlight them all and uh, right click and copy. And then just paste them right in that folder that we had created. Uh, this is going to take, it shouldn't take that long, but uh, if you see her stare at it like I'm doing, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to feel like it's going to take a, it feel like it takes a while. Uh, yeah, I hope I have some, I hope I have some luck with this, guys. I really do. It's going to be a bummer if I can't play this game. I just <laughs> spent money on this thing from overseas and, oh my gosh, I guess... If it doesn't work, uh, lesson learned, I guess. You know, never buy games from overseas, PAL version. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so we can go ahead and we'll just close this out. And we should have all of our files here. And yeah, let's see how big the game actually is here. 57.4 megabytes. Okay. Alright. So the next step. we got to come down here to our Ultra ISO. Open it up. It's one of my favorite programs here. Uh, go up here to File. Uh, go down here to New. And we want to go right over. Scroll down to where it says PS2 DVD image. Click that. What it does, it'll bring up these files which are in this folder here. But if it doesn't, uh, you simply want to browse around until you find these files. If I was on the desktop, simply hit desktop and you find your folder. Click on it and there your files are. Down here in the uh, uh, bottom right hand corner, it says system.cnf file right here. That's the file that we need to find up here, guys, and we need to double click on that, okay? And that should bring up all of our files in the Ultra ISO. Now, go up here to File once more. Scroll down to where it says Save As. We want to save it as an ISO. We want to rename it to the game, which is uh, Extra Heroes. And make sure it says desktop and just hit save. Okay, and we're good to go. Uh, game is right there. We'll take it out. Okay. Now, it did come from overseas. It's a PAL version game. Now we have to patch this thing from PAL to NTSC. So, we're going to use a program called PS2. Let's see. Uh, PS2 pilot to NTSC. So we would go into that, boot that up, 
pretty simple, straightforward program. Not much to it. Uh, we need to browse for our game right here. Ours on the desktop. Yeah, there's our game. Double click it. Uh, what this uh, uh, Y-Fix offset is, guys, this has to do with the screen position or just TV, okay? Uh, so if you if you want to patch a file from Europe or whatever like that, you better make sure you have it uh, set correctly. Uh, if, if you don't, I've done it before, and the screen is like way off center. It's like uh, probably about a quarter of the screen is cut off at the top. So yeah, definitely uh, make sure you got that set right. Now, if you got a game from uh, from here in the U.S. or Japan, uh, I found that Zero does a trick. Uh, if you have any from like say uh, Europe or like Korea or whatever, uh, then 32 is your best bet on that. And you'll see that here in a second. All right, so you want to simply come over here and hit Patch. Patchy done. Good deal. And now, now guys, from here, if you want to burn it to a disc, uh, you will need to use this uh, program here called ESR Disc Patcher. So that's what your that's what your uh, PS2 is going to be looking for. Uh, you need to patch it to that ESR uh, for your uh, computer uh, computer for your PS2 to recognize it and boot it up. Alright. So, we're not going that route. Uh, we're going the uh, hard drive route. So, we need to click on this USB Utility version 2. Close this out. Go up here to File. Uh, since our game is an ISO, we want to create game from ISO. Click that. Now, uh, <clears throat> here's our directory on where our game is at. So what we need to do, we need to find our game here. We need to go to C Drive. Scroll down to where it says Users. Double click it. Uh, administrator, double click that. Scroll down a little more. To desktop, double click. Yikes! And I, oh. double click the desktop. And that'll bring up the game down here. Actually, there's two games. I have the uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee right here, which we're not worried about that right now. We're worried about this one. So we just want to highlight the Hepster Heroes right there. And this directory over here, of course, this is where you. This is a directory on where you want your converted game uh, to be sent to. So uh, I think I think it was AF. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's AF. So we we definitely want to pick F on this one. And that is it. Uh, make sure that this is set to auto, and then you simply come down here and hit create. And if everything goes okay, uh, it will say CD okay. And so far so good. No kind of uh, text come up saying error or nothing like that. And it does say okay. So we're good to go. Uh, and from here guys, uh, usually uh, you can use a program called, uh, let me get it, let me Yikes. Where is it at? I know it's, yeah, right here. Uh, this is the Power Defragmenter uh, program. This will clean it up a little bit. Uh, pretty much, you're not going to know it, to use this until you go over to the PS2. It will say Game Fragmented once you try to boot it up. And you come back over here and you just simply go into this program and uh, clean it up a little bit. But that's that. So now guys, let's go on over to the PS2. Let's give it a shot, see if she boots up. And hopefully hopefully she will. Uh, so uh, yeah, wish me luck on that one. So meet me over there, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, so we're back at the PS2 here. And uh, wish me luck, guys. I'm going to scroll down to the uh, 
PS2 loader here. We'll go into it. And I hope we don't have any problems here. Oh, please don't have no problems. Please don't have no problems. Ah, shoot. Oh, uh, we are looking for Hepster Heroes. Right there. Okay. All right, guys, you ready? I'm fit to hit the X button, and we'll see what she does. Okay, we're good so far. Let's go. Oh, good deal, good deal. So far, so good, guys. We're doing really good. Guys, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it actually works. Oh yeah. Head back. All right, good deal. We're going to play some Hepster Heroes, guys. Uh, let's say I was just gonna play the first level, uh, just first board, and that's it. Uh, I'm just gonna show you that it works. You know that you can't take pal version disk and convert them over onto H, uh, your hard drive. I'll create one right there. Auto save successful, good deal. All right, so let's press start. We'll get going with this thing. Uh, play. I guess you choose what character you are. <laughs> Let's see. He looks pretty good. I don't know. He, how, I don't see how he could uh, run around with one eye. He's pretty cool right there. Katana, he looks... Let's go with Katana. How about that? Little wild little sucker. Alright. <clears throat> Look how many boards we got, guys. Uh, Miss Baker's Orbs of Doom had like two more stages. Oh my god. Let's just see what it's all, all about. It's a game like this, I wish they had made really long. I don't, I don't understand why they don't. Man. Of course, some people don't like games like this. Alright, here we go. Oh lordy. Alrighty. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, it, it's it's just like uh, it controls just like Miss Baker's Orbs of Doom, guys. It really does. Oh crap. I can't believe how similar these these games are. I can't believe it. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh sheesh. Oh. -ho -ho. Okay. Yikes. Right, so I was supposed to go up here or something. So it tilted or something. Okay, let's just go up here. Let's find out what happened here. Yikes. Oh, I just did not do that. Come on. Oh, I see what you got to do. I mean, it's supposed to, you see, see how it tilts? Let's just go up this thing right here and see what happens. Maybe you, maybe you got to get it ready to start and really hit it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what it was. You had to get it ready to start. And it looks like... Oh, man. Look at this. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I stopped right there at the end. Stop it, you idiot. Come on, man. Oh, oh my gosh. Yep, it has that frustrating feeling too, just like Miss Baker Orbs of Doom also. It definitely has that. Alright, here we go. Alright. Woo! Oh, they're trying to get you on that one. Don't you fall, you idiot! <laughs> oh! You got to be kidding me! This is supposed to be just a little demo. I can't even make a demo. Alright guys, no playing around this time. You better stop. <laughs> you, be you better stop, doggone. Stop! Oh. Oh, I'm hesitant. I am. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That is not even funny. All right, easy does it, easy does it. See what we got going on here now. Yes, okay. All right guys, so that's it. I'm gonna end this uh, video now. Uh, I took a PAL version disc. I converted it over onto the hard drive and as you can see, it works perfectly. No problems whatsoever. Uh, this is actually the first time that I've taken one of those purple discs and actually got them to work or, or the hard drive. I can't believe it. And uh, when I first got it out of the uh, out of the package here, out of its case, and I see that, I was like, uh-oh, you know. So, yeah, but it works. I love it, guys. Uh, I do have another one covered, and I can't wait for that one, too. So uh, y'all take it easy, and I will see y'all guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.